okay so welcome back and in this final session on the basic geometrical ideas we are going to discuss uh, another important geometrical idea and that would be of circles now you would see many 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 objects around yourself that are round in shape some of the examples most common examples are the wheels you can see a lot of wheels of the car or wheels of your bicycle then you can see bangles that are round in shape the coins and I think there will be lots of other things that you will find out which are round so the list is huge so there are lots and lots of things around us which are round in shape right and these round shapes they are known as circles in geometry and so what does a circle look like I think the figure is just there in front of you and you can see this is what is called as a circle here so now let us move ahead and discuss the definition of a circle so it is the path okay I think this S shouldn't have been here so it is the path of a moving point at the same distance moving from a fixed point right so now you have to import and there are two important concepts we have a fixed point and then we have a point that moves at a fixed distance from this fixed point so let's do an experiment to understand this so what you can do is you can take two small sticks take let's say a stick A and stick B and then you tie this thread here you tie a thread between these two sticks take the stick A and go go at a place where there is a soft ground just make sure that you dig the stick a little bit deeply into the ground and so that it is firm then you just straighten this out straighten this out and see the point where your another stick is going and it will be helpful if your other part of the stick is slightly pointed and then what you do is keeping the straight you just try to make a path around this point around this point or around the stick A such that this always remains straight and then this is how you would be following it as it's shown here and then what you get is a circle so that the definition states that a circle is the path of a point moving at the same distance from a fixed point so in this case we are moving at the same distance which is governed by the length of the thread and this is our common point so the path that is traced here that will be the circle this is the geometrical definition of a circle now let us understand a few terms related to a circle the first thing is the radius now the distance between the fixed point that is the center the fixed point that we have is called as the center of the circle so this point here in this figure can be called as the center of the circle the distance between this fixed point that is the center and any point on the boundary of the circle is called its radius so this is the this distance from center to this point is the radius of the circle so this is the radius now it is important to note a few things about radius let us take this figure so we have let us say that this is a circle which has a center C this is the center and then there we have located a few points on the circle point A point B point B and point M so we have this line segment AC CP CB and CM it is important to know that all these line segments these four line segments in fact even this line segment which let's say let's give us as a point DCD these are all of the same length and it is equal to the radius of the circle so any line from the center to any point on the circle will always be of the same length and is known as the radius of the circle and then the other term related to a circle is the circumference so the distance around the circle is called its circumference it's nothing but the periphery of the circle or the boundary so when I say circumference it implies this boundary 
so I'm not going exactly on the boundary but yeah this, this 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 part is called as the boundary similarly the boundary of the circle in this case is just the the region where this blue colored thing ends and where it starts so that this is called as the circumference of the circle now let us continue our discussion with uh, more terms related to the circle now we have something called a chord a chord is nothing but a line segment which joins any two points on the circle so in this example here we have this line segment that is joining these two points let us say I take a point A on the periphery of the circle and this is point B on the circumference of the circle so this is called the chord AB okay and then if we have discussed this chord AB now now th there are there could be many other chords for example this is also a chord on the circle this is also another chord of the circle and so on now what happens if the chord of the circle passes through the center so we have a special name and it is called as a diameter so diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle so in this case this is our center and uh, we have this chord which is passing through the center of the circle from here to here right so this is the diameter of the circle and what and if you watch very closely right if you fold along this diameter the circle is divided exactly into two parts so and uh, two half circles right they are called I mean a half circle is called a semicircle so what basically a diameter does is that it divides the circle into two semicircles and please note that if you just try to find out the number of lines that can pass through this center let us just try to draw a few of them so let's say that we draw this line which is passing through the center okay then we have this line which is passing through the center and then you can have lots of lines another so it implies that there are a huge number of lines that can pass through the center of a circle now it is also important to know that the length of let us say this a diameter CD and the length of a diameter CD right will be equal to twice the length of radius this is an important thing to note because if we take the middle point from here to here the distance from this point let's say the center O to C is the radius and similarly from O to D is also the radius so diameter is nothing but twice the radius so now let us continue further discussion arc so now if you see this figure right what we have done is we have just taken a portion on the periphery or the diameter of this circle so this a portion on the circumference of the circle is called as an arc so this is an arc on the circle now what what is a sector so a sect a region in the interior of a circle that is enclosed by an arc on one side and a pair of radii on the other two sides so here is the example of an sector now if you see there is this arc here this is an arc which is on this and then we have this one radius and this is the another radius here right so this portion here which is enclosed between an arc on one side and this and this radius two radii on the other side this is called as a sector of the circle and then similarly we can also have a segment so a segment is nothing but a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by an arc and a chord so you can see that this is a chord over here and then this is an arc so this portion here is a segment within a circle so that was the terms related to the circle and our discussion on the circle and see you soon in the next session